So Janet seems to be doing well with all these ladies. Seems to stick right beside Jim the, all the time. Nobody seems to be pecking on each other other than maybe just fighting over the water bowl. <laughs> you guys got thirsty overnight. I think Jim's being protective of protective of Janet, aren't you? You don't want me to take Janet out. This is Big Black and his ladies. There are three Jersey Giants, black Jersey Giants. Plan to keep these three together separate from the other ones so they become they hatch eggs to keep my uh, strain of Jersey Giants a pure strain of Jersey Giants I see there's one egg in here now but I'm not gonna hold back eggs for a few weeks yet for hatching. I'll bring this one in and eat it. Here's how the this chicken condo works where the Jersey Giants are in. These are the egg collection doors. Just open it up. There's an egg in there. I think that egg would be bigger than that for a, what they call a giant chicken. So this is their, this will be their second summer. So I'm hoping there's later on in the spring that their eggs will be fertile enough to start hatching some. So I'll have Jersey Giant chickens for uh, laying more eggs. I want to get this flock built up to be a pretty good sized flock. You know, 25 or so to 50 Jersey Giants. I'll be probably getting more roosters and more hens to keep the strain a little diverse, but I want to get all pure Jersey Giants. I just like that they're called giants. That and they are pretty. I like their combs and their black. And their black has some green and blue in it. So when you see them in the sun, they've got a really nice color to them. And they're pretty winter hardy. So this is Minnesota, so I'd like to have a winter hardy chicken also.